This is a follow-up video to the cleaning of beef tenderloin. And in this video, we're going to uh, show you how to clean the chain of the beef tenderloin. Now the chain has a lot of sinew or silver skin in it. Okay, silver skin, if we scrape down, Silver skin is that shiny, shiny tendon that is covering the meat. So, and this is inedible, okay? You can't chew through it. It makes excellent dental floss. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove all of the silver skin and some of the fat to reveal edible, tender, delicious, and expensive, we paid $13 a pound for the entire beef tenderloin. That means that you're paying $13 a pound for everything that is attached to it, not just the net of your tenderloin, not just the most beautiful piece in the center that we're going to use as our, uh, as our, main, as our main entree centerpiece. <clears throat> so we wanna make sure that we're able to utilize as much of it as possible. Now, after we clean this up, uh, a great utilization for uh, the <clears throat> for the meat that we get off of the chain is to create beef tips. If I was running a restaurant right now and I was serving lunch or dinner, I would use the chain meat and create a beef tip entree or uh, or lunch lunch meal. <clears throat> and I would I would charge for it pretty well too. I would charge a pretty penny because we, again, we charge, this is beef tenderloin. Yes, it's the chain portion, but it is still delicious. It is still very, very tender. And again, it was still $13 a pound. So we wanna get under the, just put our tip just underneath the silver skin, lightly raise our blade and the silver skin is so tough that we can run our blade along the silver skin with the knife up against the silver skin and it will not cut through it. Well, it, it can. It can if you really wanted it to. But you can, it, it will, it will allow a little bit of, of angling and cutting towards it. I have a very, very sharp knife. It can be cut through. Yes, it can. But if you find just that little just the right amount of angle and pressure. You can, you can remove it rather easily. There's something very satisfying about removing it. I don't know what it is, but this is, this is a, it's a very gratifying job. And we're going to save all of our scrap because this does have flavor. This fat, sinew, a little bit of meat stuck on there. We're going to take these scraps, roast them, uh, render a lot of the fat off, and then you can use you can use this to enhance the flavor of a broth or to make a beef a beef broth. So we we'll start on one side and then we'll just keep rotating. So. So far, a little bit I'll take off there. Trim the sides a little bit, take the fat off. I'll leave a little bit of fat. I'll, I'll leave a little bit because there's nice moisture and flavor in there. Get our tip under here. And what we have here, we have a fat seam, not a sinew seam, but a fat seam. 
you don't get a lot of fat on these tenderloins. So again, right here, that's a little bit of edible fat. I am a fan of some fat, so I'm not going to remove it all right now. Maybe just a little bit. Maybe just trim this up just a little bit. But I do enjoy so having some fat to render and become crispy and add flavor to this very, very lean, ultimately lean cut. What if we cut into this? There's not going to be fat marbling the inside. Any fat that we have can kind of be on the outside. Down here, we have a little bit of marble fat. I'm going to leave some of that. I'll remove just a little. I'll take some off. If you don't like fat and, and you really want none of it, please remove it. You can always cut it off later. You don't just because you leave it on now to cook it doesn't mean that you have to ingest all of it. You can use it to render, let out the liquid fat, use to cook and flavor the outside, and not all of it will be uh, will will stay on on the meat on the steak. You can always remove it from the rendered fat and not consume it all, or you could cut it away before putting it in your mouth. So, just because I'm leaving some on now doesn't mean you ultimately have to eat it all, uh, but you might have to work to uh, cut it off or remove it from your pieces before eating, or you can just eat it. So here's my chain. The most important thing is that we have all of the silver skin removed. After that, it is a preference to how much fat you want to leave behind. So I'm happy, I'm happy with this. Chain meat of the beef tenderloin, uh -uh. leaving, strategically leaving some fat for flavor. From here, you can cut into little beef tips, serve with pasta, or a stir fry, uh, or you can leave it whole, marinate it, put it on the grill, cook it rare to medium rare, and then slice it. Whatever you wish. 